Good. And I think it would be a mistake to cover up all your gray, too much of it. You want about a third of the gray, third of the brown, third of the green. Yeah, you want to leave it, definitely, you want to leave some of Are you going black now? Yeah. Can't get on the green because it's wet. Yeah. You want to really cut up the other colors, really. And you want to try to do it random and then... What gray you have left to random with the other color, what gray you have left to random with the other color, and then leave a little bit of gray there. You can kind of overlap and intermix a little bit. Oh, you use three colors. Normally it's just two. No, 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 not on, that, not on that, but I mean when we're doing a cliff rock panel. Uh. Is this what you had on your house? No, no. No, actually, I, I think those are like this up there. Black, dark gray, and brown. Yeah. It's, it's the too much air, it's a whitewash. There has to be, if you look up here, specifically, throughout this whole thing, the first thing I did was the orange. Did a little here, little there, little here. A um, little bit here, a little bit there, and I did the black, a little bit, a little bit, and then uh, a little bit of brown. That was it. Predominantly, more gray remained than did I put on color. So in this process, they have 70 to 80 percent coverage of their stain, which will have an effect. My effect over here, or what you'll see in that spa, well, I think you guys do about 50 percent coverage on that. You see what I'm saying? If you this color that you're adding could be dominant 70%, middle 50%, or like I did about 30% coverage. Each time you vary from that, you've got a totally different outcome. Did you use any toners on this? Yeah, that's the orange, the black, and the brown. It was my first treatment. Boom. Then I skimmed on army green, skimmed on tan, speckled white, uh, gray, black. No, white, black, gray, and then I sprayed it with blue. Done deal. Fast. Oh wow. Do you see what we've done here now? Scar's gonna rescue it though. <laughs> gonna have to. It's too much too much white, it's too it's too colored. It's too colored. In an opinion. That don't mean it can't be coming out looking good though. That's probably something you do avoid is uh, just make it a polka dot in all the rock. I see it's kind of repeating itself here and there. What, what we want to do, what? probably, Somebody say something? get back to a, a wider fan. That's what I, I, I usually tend to do. Yeah. Like, uh, you can run through and just just kind of paint random. You know, I'm, I see I'm leaving a lot of that gray. It's not going to hurt nothing. There we go. See, we're kind of... Alright, black though. Let's see. I'm going to do a little bit of brown. If you're after a darker rock in this particular format, you're going to cover a lot more of it. If you're after a lighter rock, you're going to go like 30% total coverage of your black, army green, and brown. That was the three colors used? Uh, yeah. So you'll come out more of a grayish rock, but with highlights. quicker than the other way and we'll grout when you guys come back from lunch and we're all done no I'm
you know you go through the same skimming and stuff like that with your top. And hopefully we can get through without it looking too far. No. Now you gotta understand that this process where you're putting on color, you have the opportunity to put it on in 30% total coverage, 50, 60, 70. This is a little dark, but, but is it? I have seen rock, when we get done, that are this dark. This particular color scheme, when you get done with the, the speckling, the skimming, all that sort of stuff, it's going to be more like my bank at home, the one down below. It's going to be a darker brown, a darker color. Hmm? Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Um, but this isn't done. But if you wanted it to be lighter and still using the same colors, you would just lower the percentage of total coverage. And you will come out with a lighter color. This is lighter by far. And didn't it look dark before? Remember when we, got, when we got done? This is way darker. But we can go up here and go lighter. And come over here, I can, even, I can get you to where it looks like gray. People have had us make it before. It's gray cement with white, black, and gray. That's it. Skim, speckle, whatever. Those are the three colors. It's still overall, it's, it's almost as gray as that spa over there. That's a light color rock. This is a dark color rock. What is it you're trying to do? Well, by that choice, you will be mandated to follow a certain step of color choices, procedure, application techniques, whatever you want to call it. So when you don't know, if you look at the sheets that we're going to give you, if you don't see it on there, you're saying, how do I get to this? Call us. We'll tell you. Now that's going to really lighten it up a lot because he goes heavy, really heavy. You know, when I did this, believe it or not, it was a lot darker and I spent a lot of time with white and gray, cement color gray, and I kept fogging little speckles on it and it brought it back to a lighter. In some areas I left it a little dark. but. If I get too dark, I got no problem at all bringing it right back to a lighter in it. No problem at all. Uh, what are you going now, Sky? A little black. It's going to be tan black. You get all that, Sarah? Yeah. Now this is where you want to be careful. Visually, I'm seeing mist, and I'm after speckles. Mist has a tendency sometimes to, I don't want to call it whitewash, but it's not as, it's not as uh, crisp sometimes. How about right here? Okay. Now, you, at, your, at your end there, Joe, you got a difference. You started out real fast, then you started going a little slower. You can see more on the one right side than you can that side. And then probably hit that seam now with that just a little more sustain. In fact, you can pull your air back to where you hear it. Keep your gun like this, Joe. You got your air pulled back and just go ch -ch -ch and, and control it a little more instead of a run. You can also adjust your gun to where you get a little bit bigger droplets if you want. All right. Let's go start with a base color of brown. I'm going to feel a What base you put on it, brown? Yeah, brown. I don't know if he knows I like the brown quite a bit. <laughs> really? I can do that. 